Hello, good afternoon everyone. Okay, so our lesson for today is about the nature of language. Now, any language speaker knows something about his or her language, but it is difficult for language speaker to tell us what language is. This is according to Harris 1980. This make it evidence that the access to the inner knowledge about the language is not an easy task despite our competence in languages and its importance for our mental and social life. Such a task requires following certain systems in order to discover, describe, and analyze the underlying rules that control any language. This led to the emergence of language theory or model, which is sentenced to test like any other theory. Now, study the following words. Okay, so we have here 10 words. Which spelling is correct and which spelling is incorrect? Okay, so... I will get back at you with this question um, in a while. What is language? Okay, so language could be a skill. It is something we do. Example, it says, he speaks well but writes badly. Then language could be a knowledge. It is something we know. We will say, I don't know much Italian. Language could be a possession. It is something we possess. Okay? We say, I haven't much French. So, wala ko kayo French nga language. No, man, that. Then, it is a tool. It is something we use. Language is something we use. Okay, so we will say, what words can I use to describe her? Then, language could be an event, meaning it's something which happens. Okay, so just like you say, I was in the office when the conversation took place. Then, language could also be a group identity. No, this is something which transmits culture. Now, it is only through our language that we can truly express our identity. So remember, because of our language, may ilhan ta kung asa ta, taga asa tang dapita, diba? So, like, for example, in Maasin, no, kung ang tumugla yung lugar on sa may ilhanan, um, sa taga laing place nga gikan mo og Maasin, no unsa man or kung taga buhol mo unsa man ang ang uh, identity ninyo with regards to language nga makaila ang laing tao nga gikan mo ana nga certain place no so ana it is something which transmits culture then language could be an object no it is something which we can describe so we describe language uh, as a complex structure. No? The language is a living organism. No, this is something which is born, lives, and dies. Gradually a new language was born. The 18th century saw the flowering of the language. That's a dead language. So we will say that. Now on question any is Kanus aman mamatay si language. Kanus aman mabuhi si language. And kanus aman, um, yes, mamatay si language. Language is the most valuable possession of man. It is difficult to think of a society without language. Now, together with the creation of human life is the creation of a wonderful and dynamic human capacity, and that is language. Animals are said to be able to communicate with each other. Whales sing, wolves howl, dogs bark, and birds chirp. 
The sounds these creatures produce often reflect the state of their emotions. While it may be true that animals communicate, only human beings are truly capable of producing language. Remember that. That separates us from animals. No? So, kanang language. So, what is exactly language? Now, let's talk about uh, definitions of language aside from those mentioned. Now, language is a system of words or signs that people use to express thoughts and feelings to each other. That is according to MiriamWebster.com. Language, according to Robbins, okay, by the way, Robbins um, was a British linguist who wrote the book A Short Story of Linguistics. Robert Henry Robbins. No, he says language is a symbol system. This is based on arbitrary conventions, then infinitely extendable and modifiable. So meaning ma change siya depending on the needs and condition of the speaker. Language according to Edward Sapir is a purely human and non-extinctive. So, language is a method of communication used by humans. Again, um, this goes back to the discussion earlier that language uh, separates human from animals. Okay, so humans, species specific, species uniform. So, para rajud sa humans ang language. Or, it is only humans who are capable of producing language okay this is non-extinctive a child has to learn uh, the language of his society okay so meaning kung unsay language sa nga iyang gikadakan mao na language pod nga iyang ma learn then language according to chomsky is a set of sentences either finite or infinite each finite in length you now constructed out of a finite set of elements okay so that is the definition of language by chomsky and now these linguists agree that a language can only be called language if it has a systems of rules so it is also known as grammar a sound system, also known as phonology, and a vocabulary, which is also known as lexicon. Okay, so remember these three. You know, these are the requirements for identifying a means of communication as a language. So, for example, a monkey may be able to signal to its partner that it is sharing food. The monkey will produce sounds and gestures, but will not be able to organize the sounds into a meaningful system with the rules. So, maka communicate sila, no, by producing sounds and gestures. However, dili sila ka produce og language, no. What the monkey is producing is not a language in the strictest sense of the word. Human beings, on the other hand, are able to communicate their desire to share food through several ways that are understandable to other human beings. They may utter a word such as food, raise a question like, want some food? Or give a statement, I'd like to share this food with you. So, based on the given definitions, can you now explain what language is? We have also to remember that language is specific, no? Language is a capacity specific to human beings. So again, this separates us from any other being. Kitarang tao ang naay capacity to produce language. Now, animals share a code, okay? So, they communicate through a code. 
Unlike human beings, animals communicate with one another through a fixed repertoire of messages on a finite number of issues like food, defense or attack, or mating, which convey information in total and cannot be parsed into constituent units. So again, um, it doesn't mean that uh, the animals do not have language, they cannot communicate. They still communicate with each other, but through a code, not a language. Now, language is constituted by a series of identifiable units which may be combined and recombined. So, ang usaka word, you can produce another word by like adding suffix or prefix. So, mga ingana. Okay, so you can combine words, you can recombine words. Then, it's productivity. Now, the capacity to create a potentially infinite numbers or infinite number of sequences based on a finite number of units. Another thing that we need to remember about language is it is capable of double articulation. No, It has a capacity to get meaningful units through the combination of meaningless units. Then those units do not combine at random but according to specific rules which govern the system. So this is what we call rule government. So daba na atay um, subject verb agreement. So dapat ang imong subject mag-agree sa verb or ang imong verb mo agree sa subject. Okay? So we have to follow grammar rules. Okay? So manak siya ibot, ipasabot ana. Then Displacement. So, human beings can talk about things away in time and space, about concrete as well as abstract entities. So, di ba kitang tao bisag unsara atong isuryahan, bisag aasara mo abot? No? So, we can talk about the future or about the past or kanang atong mga assumptions. Kana sila. Then, arbitrariness. So, meaning there is no natural connection between a sound image and an idea. There is no one-to-one -one relationship between signifier and signified. There is no need for one specific acoustic image to correspond to one specific meaning. So, what does it mean? I need to say that it doesn't mean, for example, he, uh, one person will see an image. So, dili na gusto ingnon nga kung unsay imong pag interpret ana nga certain message, maupod na ang ma-interpret sa uban. Okay? So, meaning to say, lahi-lahi. No? Lahi-lahi tao pag interpret or pag sabot sa usaka image or sa usaka sound. So, based on the given definitions of language, can you now explain what language is? Language is an abstract system of symbols and meanings. So when we talk of symbols, this could be anything, no? Anything that stands for anything else. This system includes the rules, which is grammar, that relate symbols and meanings so that we can communicate with each other. Now, you have to take note, class, that language and its related processes may be the most important feature distinguishing humans from all other animals. So, ganina rako sige, balik-balik, Ana. Ang language that separates us from other animals. Okay. Language is a system of communication, a medium for thought, and a social interaction. Language, our primary tool of thought and perception, is at the heart of who we are as individuals. Now, when people use language, they can understand each other because they belong to the same speech community. They can understand each other because in their speech community, people share the same set of rules in the language system. While growing up, people acquire the languages used in those in by those in the community. This is the process of 
language acquisition. So, while growing up, you can acquire a uh, different language, kung unsa man nga mga language nga naa sa community. And that is what we call language acquisition. Now, the languages acquired while growing up are known as mother tongues, which may also be referred to as first language. Then, people discover later on that other languages are needed for various reasons. These other languages may be referred to as second language. Okay. People learn these languages by studying formally in school or informally on their own. Okay, so this is the process of language learning. So, um, dili necessary nga kinahangan ka mo enroll ugo sa, uh, sa formal school para makalearn ka og language. Ang uban, they assimilate themselves like they talk to other people who use or who communicate with other language or ang uban ko anak ayo uh, mag YouTube or maglanda og movies no okay now question what will happen if or what happens if people visit another speech community that is different from their own okay so the answer is, there would be a language change. Okay. So, for example, Americans and British speak English. Parihan na silang English. However, they spell English words differently. So, maotong ganina sa atong unang activity, katong mga airplane, aeroplane, no? So, actually, kato sila, those are correct. Tanan sila correct kay nag differ sila. The, uh, the uh, first, the other column is uh, English, American English, and the other is British English. Okay, so pareha silang English, however, they spell the words differently. They pronounce words differently, and they have different ways of expressing the same concepts. It can be said that the Americans and the British belong to two speech communities which do not have exactly the same set of rules for their language. Pareha silang English, however, lahi-lahi sila og rules. Okay? So this is why there are differences in their languages. Again, our opening activity illustrates that reality. Okay, so another question. What happens if you, who speaks a mother tongue in English, for example, ikaw, uh, in mo mother tongue is Besaya, and then you can speak a little bit of English, go to work in China where the residents speak Mandarin and a little bit of English. Will you be able to communicate with the Chinese? So, maka istorya baka or maka communicate baka sa Chinese, nga Besaya, raman of a little bit of English ang imong namaohan? The answer is yes. Okay, so though it will be a challenge for you and your Chinese friend or co-worker to try to understand each other, eventually you will be able to communicate as you slowly learn each other's language. So what happening here, what is happening here is called language contact. Okay, so na ay language contact. That is the reason why na ay kitawag o language change. Okay, so the result of such contact may be a new form of language. It is possible that in your attempt to communicate with each other, like you and your Chinese friend, will produce a new language language form that is understandable to both of you. Kay maning kamot man mo sa ninyo pagka sinabdanay. Okay? Your own languages may also change as you constantly interact and communicate with each other. Thus, language change is the result of language contact. So, naagani language contact, for example, one language, Bisaya, and then ma-interact og another language, there is what we called language contact. So, ang result, Anna, is language 
change. Okay. Language is indeed a complex human capacity. It is therefore important to be aware of its features and behavior to be able to use language more effectively and productively in communicating with others. Okay, let's go to synthesis. Language is a human capacity that consists of A, a system of rules, also known as grammar, B, a sound system, also known as phonology, and C, a vocabulary, also known as lexicon. While growing up in a community, people acquire the languages used by those in the community. This is the process of language acquisition. The languages acquired while growing up are known as mother tongues, which may also be referred to as first languages. Other than the first languages, there are other languages that are needed for various reasons. These are these other languages as re are referred to as second languages. Now, people learn their second languages in school or on their own. And this is the process of language learning. In our interaction with other people, our languages come into contact with other languages, resulting in language change. Now, language change is a natural behavior of all languages. So again, the moment there is a contact or language contact, the result of which is language change. Question. Okay, so you can now answer the comprehension questions in uh, the model. 